Hello and welcome to Tiger Bites. I'm Jay, this is Tim, and this is where we get to address your feedback and comments from our shows on YouTube, our shows on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as your comments from Tiger Talk Forum on the website. Tim, let's get right into it. We get to troll your trolls. That's right. Uh, there was a story in Thailand News Today yesterday with Jet uh, about a restaurant raid, which was brilliant because it was a restaurant in the lower floor of Central World. That's right. And over the road was a police station. One of the biggest malls in Thailand. And they'd also been warned twice before about serving alcohol when they're not meant to. Yep. Now, three comments about this. Uh, first one from Michael Martin. And the first one says, why would any tourist want to go to Thailand when you can get arrested for being at a restaurant that is selling alcohol? The rules change daily. Thailand is so fracked up. Not sure what fracked up means, but thank you very much. Uh, yes, I mean, I think the rules about alcohol have been yeah. fairly, it's not as if they're changing the rules daily. They've been fairly clear about that. Johnny Bravo, I'll go read the other two. Yes, please. Says, can't stop laughing, ha, 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 opposite the police headquarters. Yes, it wasn't a very... They're quite daring. Something went wrong. They didn't... Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Paper no, bags. It wasn't enough. Stephen Howell says, police raiding bars and restaurants for serving alcohol, then raiding condos and hotel rooms when people have to revert to partying at home with friends as an alternative. Doesn't sound like a place I'd want to visit until all of this is over. I think it's almost a daily requirement for the media to publish a story about police raiding something or other. True. So, uh, yeah, thank you to uh, the commenters on that particular story. Right. I've got a comment here from Beb one who says, Hi, Jay and Tim. I like to watch your shows every day. I want to go to Thailand, but I'm just afraid that mosquitoes might eat me alive. Can you guys give me some advice? Thanks. Mosquitoes, Tim? Oh, my God. What do you feel about mosquitoes? Well, they're about this big, and they fly around and go zzzz. But if you've noticed, certain people are attracted to mosquitoes. Sorry, no, the mosquitoes, mosquitoes are attracted <laughs> to the people. Mosquitoes are attracted, rather, to people, and uh, they get bitten a lot more. I am one of those people that attracts mosquitoes. Okay. Uh, in 10 years, I've only had a mild case of dengue. Okay. So I think I've done pretty well. It is a, an issue, oh, dengue awful, fever. Yes. And it's uh, particularly prevalent during the wet season mm -hmm. in Thailand, which we're sort of slowly coming to the end of at the moment. Yes. So, uh, yeah, as far as being worried about it, there's probably a lot of... It's like, I'm not going to go to Australia because I'm worried about being bitten by a shark. Yeah. Uh, although shark bites are a lot less prevalent, yeah. but probably more dangerous yeah. than a mosquito bite. There are... I think there's a story at thetiger.com. In fact, I know there's a story... 10 ways to avoid dengue fever. So you can read that story. It gives you all the tips about uh, what clothes to wear, what not to wear, uh, what sort of places, uh, avoiding... Yeah, anyway, use the spray. I'm not going to lie, mosquitoes are scary. And if you're not scared of them, it's probably because you haven't had malaria, dengue or chikungunya and or other diseases that they carry. I'm scared. Yeah, uh, you, just, don't, you don't want Just buy those five bar... They, like mosquito repellents, like five or ten bar in 7-Eleven, just... Spray it as perfume. Be All safe. family, Mark. Be safe, Sonny. Better to be safe than sorry. All right. Be safe. Be safe. Profitstocksalert.com, I think we read one of his yesterday, says, I sure hope the vaccines are optional and won't be forced on everyone, like in Australia. It's a medical decision that people should be allowed to make for themselves. Uh, and we alluded to one of the cases in Australia yesterday and today, I also noticed that the whole police, about 20 members of a police force were being sacked because they refused to get vaccinated. Oh wow, did they? Yeah, so that situation doesn't currently exist in Thailand, although, as we've said, it, it is optional if you want to have the vaccine or not, but you may be precluded from doing certain things if you aren't vaccinated. And that's the choice that's made by public health departments, by various other public services, and by private businesses, and they're well entitled to do so. So, uh, but the option, in the end, if you're coming to Thailand, is still yours. Right, uh, my next comment here is from Mark United, who says, when you watch Thai TV and they have that comedy show uh, on with the boing, boing, and honking noises, and <laughs> usual cartoon slapstick noises, 
Why can't they do that when the Prime Minister is annou announcing these rules after each sentence? Um, so what uh, Mark is talking about, um, yes, uh, Thailand has a very um, big slapstick comedy scene. So even when you're watching shows on YouTube or on TV, whether it's Channel 3, Channel 6, they often have uh, silly noises to uh, at funny moments just to portray like, you know how they have those fake audience laughs and, and claps in uh, US TV shows. In Thailand, they have those slapstick comedy noise I'm not and this is very accurate it's like literally like boing boing a big tick on this one a big tick on this so um, what we're going to do we're going to do good morning Thailand one day yes with the sound effects from Thai soap operas and we we're actually, definitely going to do we it we actually already have those uh, sounds on our new mixer we do yes we do really yes we do yeah we have applause we have crowd cheering we have boing we have a a, a beep for every time you swear I mean, there's yeah. certain ones that, that, that are very on, very Thai on, very yes, Thai so yes. we've got to get those ones we'll, can we'll we get... record them in the system yes yeah I, I think I'll, I'll need to have the buttons here so I can sort of you know, anytime Jay says something serious we can put, turn the laugh on we will do we will do all of this for the special 100,000 subscriber episode so please help share the video and we could also use the laugh sound on Michael Thomas's comment who says why not let the Chinese paid politicians push anything they want? Thailand is made and owned by the Chinese. Excuse me. Push it. Sorry, Michael, that's just uh, an outrageous comment. Right. Moving on, I've got a comment uh, regarding, uh, Tim, you were making jokes yesterday that people often ask you very, ask us very specific visa questions oh, and yes. questions regarding if, if I'm going to this hotel for that many days, what do I do? And I'm left-handed and yeah. my Thai girlfriend's an amputee and <laughs> she votes for the Republicans and but, so what do I do? Yeah, so I've got a comment here from one of our Tiger Cubs, Chiang Mike, who says, so I'm left-handed my BMI is 24.2, and here's my ASQ question. <laughs> That's what he said. A little joke from Chiang Mai, who gets your humor. Uh, and another comment here from Stephen Howell, who says, I think I heard someplace that part of Bangkok is sinking. Stephen, uh, it's not just a part of Bangkok, it's Bangkok in general. Yes, it's uh, Bangkok's built on the delta of the Gulf of Thailand and the Chao Phraya River, and it's sort of basically a swamp. And so this building, just this single floor would weigh many, 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 many tons. This is a really solid 19, early 1980s concrete building. Mm -hmm. And the, we are probably going down at feet per day. We used to be on the 17th floor. I think by the end of today, yeah. we'll be on the 16th floor. Pretty much. So yeah, but Bangkok is sinking. I think it's, you know, millimeters a year but uh, they're talking about building levees and how they're going to stop it and moving everybody inland even talk of moving the capital wow. which has been moved three or four times in its history already so right we'll have to see what happens with that moving wow. Bangkok that'd be fun now tomorrow afternoon at four o'clock we're all going to be moving to Prachu so, Khan. Khan. Well, oh that'd be nice got a nice beach uh, El, uh, El Prata who I think is from Brazil, says, Hi, how are you? Would it be possible for you to leave the video to trans for you to leave the video to translate to Portuguese, Brazil? Thank you. So after the show, Jay, would you be able to transcribe the entire show in Portuguese yeah. and upload for El Prata? El Prata, I will I can't promise you, I can neither confirm nor deny that I will do that by the end of the episode. It might take me 15 days. I think because English and Portuguese are both Latin languages, mm -hmm. you may be able to quite simply make yeah, you adjustments can go, go on in the YouTube. Settings. Yeah, you can try on the settings. You can choose uh, auto-generate. Uh, so for click CC, close, on CC closed captions. Yes. And then I think in settings you can select Portuguese. Try that. It might not be 100% accurate. It's it, true. It, it'd probably be pretty good. It'd be a lot better than Thai to English, which is usually hilarious. Yes. Right. Uh, my next comment is about tourism from Facebook. Um, I have a commenter saying regarding Thai embassies and telling travelers to book a quarantine hotel. So Sean Byron. Byron Sean Byron says, wow, can't wait to get to Thailand to sit in a room and look at four walls. And if I test positive, 
when I get there, I can even spend all two of my week's holidays sitting in a hotel room and get a big bill at the end of it. Just that kind of holiday I like. Good on you, Sean. And on a related uh, issue, Vince asked the question, Hey, Tim, why are you asking me? What's this about having to stay in Bangkok until your test results come back? Are you sure? I've booked a sealed flight to Koh Samui, which goes through Sawanapum Airport. I haven't heard anything about having to wait for test results. Now, he mentions that he specifically booked a sealed flight. Now, the only airline that flies to Koh Samui is Bangkok Airways, so maybe they've already got a system by where you can arrive at Bangkok and then remain in a sort of sealed bubble until you, not a physical bubble, you know what I mean, uh, to get your flight to Koh Samui. So I, I don't know, Vince, you're just going to have to see what happens when you arrive. Right, uh, next comment here from Stephen, who talking once again about going to quarantine hotel. He goes, what else can the embassies do? None of them are... None of the changes are confirmed or officially announced. So, yeah, Stephen, you're right. None of them have been officially announced and none of them are out in the Royal Gazette. They could change once again. We feel the same as you. We Confused, feel your pain. scared, lost. No, I'd go with the old... Oh, no. I'm, I'm confused, scared, lost. Okay, I'm going on and on. in the middle. One. Agro Dorks says... They, they have been on about the health insurance for retirement visas for years. Nothing seems to be firm. Nothing ever happened. It's annoying. I'm renewing my retirement visa next week. According to my lawyer, no health insurance needed. Frustrating and hopeless. Uh, yeah, we agree with you. Uh, just like the other issues, sometimes things are announced and they're a bit opaque and not clear. We do our best to provide you the information that we know which sometimes just leads to a whole lot of other questions, which is sort of what happened yesterday with the announcement about this 3 million baht uh, insurance premium for uh, people applying for an OA visa. I'm not going to go on about that at the moment because we don't know all the answers. But, uh, yeah, you're right, agro-dorks. Sometimes getting a lawyer or a visa agent is going to give you the best clarity to get an answer because they may be able to sort things out a lot quicker because they talk tie to tie rather than trying to get translations and things. Right. Uh, my last comment for today is from a man called CEO. And he's actually one of our top supporters. Love this guy. CEO says, fake background, the river doesn't flow, the clouds don't move. Honestly, how low? It, it is fake. Try moving the water. Try moving. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Ha, blow on the clouds a little bit. <laughs> oh, Blowing CEO. Very perceptive, CEO. Very perceptive. Um, yes, it is a fake background. The river does not flow and the clouds don't move. Uh, um, how low? I, I don't know. It's not really low. We're actually quite high. We're on the 17th floor. 18th floor, 21st, I don't know. I'm not really mystery. sure what he expects us to do. But after his great comment about the background, oh, yes. one of our usual background lovers, Ken Minahan, says, and you thought I was bad. Ken, I take back everything I have ever said to you, good sir. Thank you. Uh, you are not as bad. Uh, there has finally, CEO has come out and taken your spot. So good on you. Stephen J.L. Austin uh, had a bit of a go at me specifically yesterday about three or four times. I replied. Uh, now, the gist is that apparently I bully you. Yep. And I treat you badly and that, um, yeah, apparently you're sort of uh, feeling inferior and hurt. And... Uh, I sort of said to him, oh, maybe, Steve, you don't understand sort of the banter. Maybe you don't understand Australian humour. Maybe you don't really sort of understand the culture we have in the office, which I said and I claimed and I'll say again, is actually quite happy and joyous and collective and inclusive. Uh, Steve J.L. Austin said, I don't see the justification for all the benefit of negatively commenting on Jay's appearance on the regular when it comes on your program. Uh, a genuine and appropriate compliment is much different than saying something derogatory, isn't it? Something derogatory. So Stephen, I'm with you. So yes. Jay, you're a very attractive man. Thank you, Are thank you, you. You've got a beautiful shirt today. This is just what I needed. 
you, maybe you should have brought an iron. Oh, yeah. sorry, that was derogatory. Oh, no, how dare you. Oh, God. No, I, okay, Stephen, just to quickly reply to you and others who might be concerned, uh, like Tim said, we, we like to have fun, we like to joke around, and I feel like, uh, you know, maybe because of our age difference, you might, or our positions in the company or whatever, you might feel like uh, Tim's a bit mean. I would just like to let you know he's horrible when the cameras are off. I mean, you should see the things he says. It's a whole lot worse. When we're somewhere else, shocking. Shocking, but yeah, I'm everyone, at least a yeah. year older than Jay. Yes. If you are worried about me, thank you for the concern. But um, we we all have a great time working here together, and it's a great atmosphere. So yeah, thank you for the concern. We're all good. Don't worry. Jay's six foot three, and I'm five foot seven. He'd beat the crap out of me. <laughs> that is actually true. <laughs> Right, right. That's, that's all I've got. Those are all the comments for today. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Thank you for writing uh, all these comments. Good, the bad, the ugly, the critical, whatever they may be, you're all welcome. Please leave a comment in the video below on all of our YouTube shows, Facebook, Instagram, Tiger Talk Forum on the website. Um, you know they're going to talk about this. Oh, definitely. Those stupid ticks and crosses, what are they about? Well, they're from our show from Ask the Ties, so stay tuned. That's going to be coming out uh, very soon. Um, and that's it. Uh, thank you for joining us. We hope you have a great day. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Shai. Are we doing this tomorrow? Tiger Bites, yes, we are. Okay. We might do it live. We might not. That is still undecided. But it's yes. a public holiday. It is a public holiday today. Uh, sorry, tomorrow. tomorrow. So um, it's undecided how we're going to be doing the shows. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow. There is still more Tiger for you. Have a great day.